Okay, um, just going back to this one over here. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. This is the uh, turntable that we had that was going to convert from um, vinyl to the PC, to a PC. Um, Ion or whatever its name is, but we, we, I've done another video where we've seen the unpacking of it, etc, etc. That's it. That's it ready to go. One bit I didn't point out last time is up the back here is those two RCA cables. They will attach into your hi-fi input so that would just literally be a turntable, a hi-fi turntable. But for the moment we're transferring good old vinyl and this is one I dug out earlier onto the PC. This will go into iTunes with with the unit here, we had one of these little things, software um, disc that goes in. Anyway, it comes up once it's all installed with two, just down here, two little thingies, two little icons down here. Anyway, let's click on this where it says EZ and we'll show you a bit further. Okay, I'm going to click on that, so if you cameraman pull back for a little while. I'm going to click on it and it says look, hello, alright, you want to, you want to blah blah, and we're going to do all this, begin by connecting your audio device to the computer which we've done and then click next which we were going to do now. So here's my little mouse thingy, next, and it comes up, this looks a little bit sort of, well we're in a recording studio here but we're not, it says, I'll read it to you because I'm not sure how this will come out, it says when you're ready to record Basically, you've put your good old vinyl onto the record player. When you're ready to play, you then press the record button, which is just here, where I'm circling. And then immediately after, when the record, oh, sorry, when the record is finished, you press, well, it'll say stop. Right, let's see how it works. So, this has been... This is the jam, not everyone's cup of tea, but this has been up in the loft since 1980. We're now 2013, so what's that, 30, 33 years old. Ah, right, just taking it out and it hasn't got the middle bit. Um, which is handy on here because, as we lift up, this, 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 on here is one of those that we used to have. You pop that in the middle, you pop that here. Now what I'm going to do with my camera mount, I'm going to lift up, see the, the turntable's going, it's ready to go. We've got the speeds in the front, we've got just around here, camera man. We've got 33, we've got 45. There's two little bits. On here, if you get panic stricken, just here there's a stop button. Press that, everything goes. Just here. As with the old turntables, there's an up and down jobby little lever thing. Anyway, right, that's that. So, camera man around this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift that and I'm going to put it like on there. Right, I'm holding it with my finger. Around here to the PC screen, we're going to look at this. Okay. Now, as soon as it starts playing, we bring up to there and we press left click, which is record. Okay, I've already recorded this, so what I'm going to do back here, sorry to make this complicated, but I don't want you to listen to the whole record. I'm going to take this three quarters of the way through the record. Okay. So you can just see as if I was playing right from the beginning. So I'll let this go. There'll be a bit, bit of music playing. But let's go from now. Okay. So I press record. And it's recording now. So now... Good old Jan. Good old Paul Weller. Um, just assuming now that you've recorded and he's just getting to the end of his song that you're recording the whole of that single, okay? And it says, 
when you've finished recording press next which is down here and I'll show you what happens next so we'll just bear with me and we'll listen to that entertainment for a couple of seconds just while it finishes on these both speakers not names dropping here we go we're dropping down now we're looking at the little whatever they are so I'm turning the volume up to catch the last bit because this is vinyl you can hear the little crackling yeah, 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 yeah. It's right down to the bottom. Press next. Next. Next comes up, enter the artist. So basically, you just tap in there, the artist, the jam. Album is not applicable because it's a single, but whatever you want to put in there. And then, so that's that one. And then the title track, which for this one, just here, is that's entertainment. So once you've done all of that, back to the screen cameraman, once you've done all that, so we've tapped in the jam, that's entertainment, press next. It then takes it to the iTunes converter and it's saying, would you like to make another, would you like to record something else? So you've either got yes or no. So in this case, we're going to say no. No. Next. That's it. It's done.